Hey, what's up? It's Greg here from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Sunday, September 5th. I'm here on the Mid Island Bay side here in Ship Bottom, here to share a fish report with you. Hope you're enjoying Labor Day weekend to its fullest. Uh, I know yesterday I did, it was a great day. Uh, fish Rock the Dock is a fluke fishing tournament out of Barnegat Light, the first annual, held by the NJ Fishing Club. Uh, it was at Vans Boat Rental up there in Barnegat Light. Uh, had a great time fishing with uh, Captain Jeff Warford on the tight lines, also Real Innovation Sport Fishing. Uh, fished with Store Stafford Frez. We got into some awesome fishing. It was probably one of the better fluke days I can remember fishing over the years. Uh, we had awesome fishing basically from the beginning to the end of the tournament. Um, it was a pretty cool gunshot start, a lot of boats. We had uh, 24 for a first year tournament. It was kind of interesting to see 24 guys get involved. Uh, definitely some solid anglers were on the angler list. Uh, the roster was definitely packed with some, some real good anglers. Um, fishing was really good. Uh, I could say that it was probably uh, one of the best days of summer um, as far as fluke fishing goes for me. Uh, we fished some local reefs and wreck sites uh, and got into some quality fishing. Had them up to 4.88 pounds, uh, which was not good enough to place, but we had a, a good spread. Had, um, it was like 26 or 28 keeper fluke all together between three of us. It was me, Jeff, and Frezza. Uh, all, all the bites were really on gold for the most part. Uh, tried fishing some, uh, some big live minnows, some live spot, uh, some hard heads. Um, tried a few different things, but for sure gulp was it. Uh, definitely outfished everything else that we tried. Uh, some other anglers fishing the area also reported kind of the same things. Um, was definitely happy to see all the boats that did fish all got into some good quality fishing. Uh, also some customers that stopped in the shop also reported some good quality fishing too yesterday. So that was awesome uh, from some people. They're, they're kind of calling it quits for the summer right now. Um, and that's kind of a good way to say, uh, say peace to, to an epic summer. Uh, with good quality Saturday afternoon fishing. Uh, the weather is about as good as you could ask for. Happy to see the heat waves behind us. Um, the surf right now is 72 degrees. Definitely starting to see it kind of be cooling off. Um, it, it seems that for the most part, there's, there's a lot of bait starting to move around and, and it seems like it's, it, it's been consistently moving. Um, we, we mentioned, I guess there was a report or two reports back, we saw some mullet. Um, actually heard of a couple anglers actually netting some mullet for the first time here, actually off the beach. I uh, saw a small uh, patch of them there a, a few reports back, like I mentioned. Um, was kind of saying it was a little early for mullet run, but maybe it's starting to happen. And uh, I can confirm it is happening. I uh, heard, of, heard of a couple of mullet here netted this morning. Um, kind of be interesting to see how that progresses throughout the season. Normally we don't see them starting to move, you know, more into say the middle of September, but here in early September it's happening. Uh, I'm not saying the mullet runs in full swing, but there's definitely some mullet moving out front, which is cool to see. Um, store alumni Dan was out with his girlfriend Liz just a few days back, uh, reported some striped bass fishing stillwater poppers. Uh, stillwater poppers are a great lure to use to imitate um, some, some smaller baits. Uh, the smack it popper is definitely puts out a nice uh, rattle and, and, and smack it uh, splash on the, on the surface when you're fishing them in the right, say, candens. Uh, him and Liz had great fishing there in Barnegat Light, fishing the bay. Uh, he's in the boat. Uh, I believe they had 11 striped bass altogether, mostly uh, smaller schoolies, we'll call them residents, um, but nice fishing nonetheless on light tackle. Uh, as far as the other fishing goes, there are still some fluke in the bay. Uh, don't discount that even though the inlet and oceans kind of the, the, where the, the primary, say, body of fish are. Uh, Bay definitely still offers some good, good fishing there. Uh, blowfish has been phenomenal for the better part of, uh, say, a month or so. Um, last few days have been really, really good. All the reports we've been hearing from blowfish and it's been, it's been solid. Uh, still some good weak fish being caught. Uh, I haven't been doing that myself, but hearing, hearing some good reports coming from the weak fish front. Um, like I mentioned before, the schooly stripers, definitely some bluefish around. Um, the, the bay definitely has a lot of life. Uh, right now, more than ever here in early September, this is probably the, the most, say, abundance you'll have of all different species from all different areas, whether it's inshore, offshore, midshore, everywhere in between. Um, kind of got a, a couple good reports um, from mahi. Seems like some mahi madness last few days from the midshore grounds, uh, say from the ridge on out, different buoys, different um, floating debris, um, different pieces of structure out there holding some fish. It's really, really good to see the mahi are, are snapping in, in full force here in the uh, late summer season. Uh, yellowfin bites seem to have slowed down a little bit, but I have seen a couple reports. Um, Dennis Blondo, he's a regular customer for many years. He actually thanked me for the report just the other day, so shout out to you. Uh, thanks for checking him out, and also thanks for sharing the report. I saw you at the dock there, I guess it was yesterday, and uh, he reported getting a yellowfin 
out in the um, in the midshore grounds uh, on the troll. He said the chunk bite was slow, got on the troll, and uh, got got a fish. So that's good to hear. Uh, hearing some wahoo action. It seems like the wahoos. Not everyone's catching them. They're definitely um, not not really the most popular species to target, but definitely a really good one. Uh, and also, I'm gonna say put on your uh, put on your belt. Um, wahoo in Jersey really don't stick around for too long, but they are here. Uh, it's been a couple weeks now. I'd say if you're going to get into the high speed trolling game, you got a good shot of catching them there in the midshore grounds. Um, wahoo are definitely toothy critters. Some we catch them by mistake. Some people uh, hook up and get get a, a good a good line pull and, and, a, and a break off. But um, if you can set up and target for them, why not? Uh, we we got some stuff in stock. Uh, looking to hopefully get some more wahoo stuff in stock in the near future. Uh, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, the, the items we normally stock are just a, a few select handful things that uh, went really fast when the, kind of the, the word got out the Wahoo were biting, so we got cleaned out. Um, we will have some Wahoo wreckers and um, some Wahoo bullets here hopefully soon, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Um, just to go back on the LBI's uh, Rock the Dock tournament yesterday, um, once again, like I mentioned, we had 24 boats that got involved. The biggest fish was caught by Cody Schmutz. Um, big congrats to him. Awesome to see a local angler getting in on the action, uh, putting a 6.28 pound fish up on the board. Um, the second place fish was Jack B. He was actually fishing on the Mary M. Uh, his fish was 6.08 pounds. And Mary M was a, a party boat out of Barnegat Light that actually was booked for a private charter just for this tournament. So anglers could get involved that did not have their own boat. Uh, that was something that the NJ Fishing Club did, which is kind of a cool thing that's, that's unique that you don't really see going on. Um, if you don't, if you're not familiar, don't know about the NJ Fishing Club, definitely check it out. LBI Fishing Club is a is a great uh, club. It's a new club. Um, definitely going to be a lot of cool new things going down there. Definitely, uh, if you want to check it out, get get involved and join. They have a, a fish of the month species, and also have a number of uh, tournaments throughout the entire season. Um, also mentioned that Captain Tim Maloney, um, he had a total bag of 15 pounds. He won first place for the three fish stringer. Uh, so congrats to those guys and all the anglers that fished. I uh, had a pleasure fishing the tournament and I was happy to see uh, 24 boats join for the first year. Hopefully next year we can uh, match that or maybe even double that. We'll see what happens. Uh, the warm water right now gives a, a, a definitely a good abundance of species from all different um, areas. Uh, one of the species that we're seeing inshore uh, is the false albacore. It's great to see. They're definitely a popular species in the fall time. Aaron from Hawaii reported a ribbon fish today. Uh, I actually caught it yesterday, fluke fishing, caught it on a gulp. Also had another photo sent in on Instagram, so it's kind of cool to see those fish are around. Also the warm water species, uh, cobia, have been around. Uh, nothing spectacular, but a few are being caught, mostly as bycatch. Uh, anglers targeting them using live eels would definitely be the best way to go about it. Once again, thanks for checking out the Fish Report. This is Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters. Hopefully you got out and enjoyed a great summer. If not, days are counting down. Fluke season here in New Jersey ends on the 19th. Get in on some of the best action Fluke has right now. Get geared up Fisherman's Headquarters, Ship Autumn, New Jersey, around Long Beach Island. Have a great day.